I've seen from what I've read in the media over the last few hours appears he isn't. The Met Police's plea to the government for help with the costs of the Grenfell Fire criminal investigation has not been met in full. Figures show the police requested £24.5 million, but the amount they were awarded fell £3 million short of that. Officers are considering whether offences including gross negligence manslaughter and breaches of the Health and Safety Act have been committed. Now, nearly half of bread produced in the UK never gets eaten and is thrown in the bin. That's according to new research. The studies from the North London Waste Authority and the charity Keep Britain Tidy, and it's prompted them to set up workshops teaching people how to make meals from leftover bread. Tim Muffet has more. It's called Save a Crust. The bread comes, you can coat chicken with it, fish with The it. aim of this workshop, to stop bread going in the bin. So we're actually teaching people how to cook using leftover food, uh, primarily bread. Do you throw away a lot of bread? I try not to, but yeah. Does anyone make bread and butter pudding? It's a really good way of using the bread crusts. Have you had bread and butter pudding before? No. Okay. Yes. We're going to try it our first time. These workshops are being run by the North London Waste Authority and Keep Britain Tidy. They've both been looking at how much bread we throw away. Their research suggests 44% of bread gets binned because people don't get round to using it or worry that it's stale. People like really watch sell by date, so if you've gone over the date a couple of days, people throw it away. 1.2 billion edible crusts are thrown away each year, the equivalent of around 59 million loaves. Sometimes the kids don't eat it, and I don't eat a lot of bread, so sometimes I put it in the bin, it's gone. How big a challenge is it for local authorities to deal with food which is thrown away? I think councils up and down the country find it very challenging in terms of the collection, encouraging people to recycle their waste, not just about local authorities collecting waste, it's thinking of ideas like we saw today of how we reduce it in the first place. If food's thrown away with general waste, it'll probably end up in landfill or incinerated. Neither are good for the environment. If it's separated into its own recycling bin, it could end up somewhere like this. We take food waste from consumers and commercial businesses and we turn it into fertiliser. The problem is food waste segregation in the UK. Approximately half the food we waste doesn't go to facilities like this. It actually goes to landfill or incineration. This week, the government announced a major review into the way all waste in England is collected. It could mean weekly food waste collections for everyone. Back at the workshop, dinner's ready. I think it's delicious. Do you, do you think this could stop you throwing away bread? Definitely. Something to chew on. Tim Muffet, BBC London News. That looks great. And the weather doesn't look bad either, actually. Uh, Lucy Martin's here. How is it looking? Thanks, Anya. Yes, it's looking mild over the next few days. And dare I say it, spring-like. We're dragging in some mild air far from the south over the next few days. And as it spreads across the UK, you can see that yellow colour here on the map. We're going to see the temperatures responding. Now, this morning, we've seen some blue sky peeping behind the cloud. This photo sent in by a weather watcher in Camden Town. Lots of blue sky here in this photo sent in by a weather watcher on the south bank. And you can see that on the satellite here. This is from the last few hours. There have been some good spells of sunshine, a bit more cloud just feeding in from the west, perhaps. And as we move through this afternoon, there will be a little bit more in the way of cloud, but still some breaks in the cloud to allow for some brightest, bright or sunny spells. The temperatures at a maximum of 13 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly breeze. That wind will ease as we move through tonight. Be a fair amount of cloud around, some breaks in the cloud though, and the temperatures aren't going to fall too far at all. Those are our overnight lows, 5, 6 degrees Celsius. So tomorrow there will be a fair amount of cloud around to begin the day, but it will gradually brighten some sunny spells developing as we move through the day. The temperatures a little milder than today, a maximum of 14 degrees Celsius with fairly light winds. It turns milder as we move into Friday. There could be some problems with mist and fog being slow to clear, but then there will be a good deal of sunshine and it will feel pleasant in that sunshine with temperatures in the mid-teens. Sonia. Thank you, those temperatures look great. That's it from us. Our Saad Ahmed will be here at 6.30 with more of the day's top stories. Uh, but for now, from all of us, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.
gentlemen, we are currently dealing with a major incident. Honestly, I don't think this day can get much worse. We've got a problem. I'm afraid anything connected to the network is at risk. Dad! Jack, Sasha. What do you suggest I do? Open a heart surgery in the middle of the anaesthetic bay? We only have one usable theatre. One of them has to come first. The battery won't last long, so the clock's ticking. I need your help. He's not responding. If you go now, they'll both die. A gripping two-part crossover. Casualty in Holby City, this March, on BBC One. OK, guys, first position, let's go. Nostalgia with a dollop of scandal, a place to call home is here in half an hour. But for slightly later than in some listings, I wonder if Keith Harris and Orville had this problem. You absolute star! Hi, Aaron. So have you got it with you? You got to get it out. Uh, actually, I, I, I hey, need to... I'm not taking no. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Danny! Who's this genius? This is Aaron. We were at school together. Aaron. Was that a name or a cry for help? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I love this guy. Wait. Insult me some more. Uh, nature already did. <laughs> <laughs> we all voted for you. Mickey, Clanger, Big Lee. Thanks. Knew you had it in you, man. I'm still second best, though. What? No way. You got to the final. Oh, I've got to message everyone and tell them. Don't. There's a photographer waiting. I... Whoa. I'm going to take some pictures around all the old places. Hey, you should take me with you. No. Thank you. You will never guess what. Mm, you're right there. Stan's sandwiches. Do you know that Mr Trigg should have called it sandwiches? Well, he's removed our favourite sandwich. Oh, the avocado. Yes. Apparently he read an article about the economical and environmental impact of the avocado, and he's totally taken it off the menu. Oh, I love avocado. I know. Morning. Morning. Oh. oh, something wrong? Oh, just another day. Actually, I was just reading this really interesting article about avocados. What? No. It was full of tips and tricks about NHS customer service. I can forward it to you if you like. Tips? Apparently, if your reception staff seem negative, it can have a negative effect on your patient's health. Conversely, if you seem positive, it can actually help the healing process. Do you know how long we've worked here? Really long time, especially Karen. I think we know how to look after patients. Thank you very much. Right. Just thought it was worth mentioning. You're being cheeky. Sorry, sorry. I just have a quick minute. Hi, uh, hey George. Sally, uh, how did you know I was? Heard there was a little show out here this morning. Uh, so, how's it been in London? When did you go? Last year, for the auditions. Are you back staying with your mum? Yeah. Tell her I said hi. Why didn't you tell us that you were leaving? So, I haven't seen you for ages. I thought I was probably coming back anyway. Don't do that. What? Put yourself down. You were great, really funny. Thanks. Listen, I work for the local paper now. That's great. And I was wondering if you might do an interview.